Hello everyone! How is everyone doing? So I'm having a break from all the fan art. I, I asked my followers on Instagram to give me some suggestions about what I should draw. And I received a lot of great suggestions from you that are now in the list. But I'm having a break from that. Just a tiny little bit. And I'm making a progress report on the current situation with a thing that shall not be named, right? I never thought I'd live to witness such a crazy amount of pure and sheer stupidity and ignorance added on top of a global crisis that doesn't seem to be nearly close to be done with its damage. But foremost, I'd say that the human part, let's call it creativity, is the one that causes the most damage. Am I right? If I had to put a name on the current situation, I'd call it the golden age of misinformation and overall mind fuckery. Because I can even understand what's going on anymore, where this is going in the long haul. And when exactly have we stopped believing in science? But most importantly, when did Trump become a doctor? I'm not a doctor. Anyway, regarding the thing that shall not be named. Expelliarmus! Let's get a name for it. Let's call her Colleen. Okay, Colleen is a nice name. I've heard all kinds of narratives and conspiracy theories when it comes to trying to explain what's happening. And the thing is, no one warned us about the amount of dumbness that would come out of this. There's been a lot of creativity, as I said. If it's on the internet, it must be true, right? Wrong. I'm gonna try and number a few of the theories that I've read or stumbled across in, in, the, in the last weeks and I can rate them as, as we go. So, let's start maybe with the first one I saw online and it has to do with, um, with this writer named Dean Koontz and a book he wrote in the 80s called The Eyes of Darkness. Well, I couldn't resist but download that book and see what the fuss is all about and if things matched. Um, in the pages of the book and right there on page 137 this is a fiction novel okay and it mentions a new and powerful uh, dangerous biological weapon called Juan 400 a man-made weapon developed at the labs outside of the city of Wuhan that has been tested on quote-unquote God knows how many political prisoners a weapon that only humans could carry, so powerful that it could wipe out a city or a country. Well, I heard that in the original version the city is named Gorky rather than Huan, meaning the name was changed afterwards. The kind of suspicious revision right there, don't you think, then? But then again, there are a few aspects that Dean kind of didn't predict it and some inconsistencies if we put the two viruses side by side which is the incubation period is of about four hours uh, and the kill rate of this virus is of 100 percent so it means if you get it you're basically f***ed. the colleen virus on the other hand has a fatality rate of no more than four percent i think the other thing is that in the book the virus migrates to the brainstem and it literally eats away brain tissue like an acid. So it doesn't really affect the lungs, but it's rather a severe system failure. So I could give this theory a solid 9 out of 10 in the woe scale because it's a pretty damn cool coincidence then. And let's have in consideration this was written in the 80s, so more than three decades ago, and it's pretty good sci-fi material, and actually pretty realistic, but 
For all the people thinking this proves anything and Dean is like a prophet or anything like that, I'd say that's highly unlikely. So let's move on to the next one. This next one uh, leads us to the theory that the virus is in fact a man-made bioweapon leaked from the Chinese and engineered to be spread on to other humans. And the answer is no, because other kinds of Kaline virus have had outbreaks in the last few decades and many similar virus have been found in animal creatures in nature. So similarly, we know that both SARS and MERS can, came from bats, so there is no reason to evoke a laboratory accident, right? So yeah, I will rate this a wrong. Next up, I received some really shady mails from, how would I put it, cultist people calling this a worldwide satanic ritual in its early stages that lasts for 10 to 20 years and that during this time it's important that we individuals never accept the ritual or else we are sacrificed. In order to be saved from this terrible satanic ritual you have to enter the community which means <clears throat> you have to purchase your invincibility shield yeah that's right it's an invincibility shield that balances out your karmic traces or anything like that <laughs> and just for a really really insignificant and small amount of a few thousand dollars yay f science in the face <laughs> i'd rate this one as what the hell are you talking about just imagine how ingenious one has to be because this is not shady at all, this is as real as those email scams that say they have an inheritance of one million dollars just for me, like Yeah, whatever, thanks bro Up next, someone tried real hard that Nostradamus had predicted the Kalin virus in 1555 and someone read the word captivity and went Oh my god, it's the quarantine but that was proven to be pure speculation and a big ass fake news, so let's move on to the next. Bill Gates. Well, people are putting him in a spotlight for stating that the pandemic will likely happen every 20 years or so, just like many experts have. He presented a simulation which found that a new flu like the one that killed 50 million people in the 1918 pandemic would now most likely kill 30 million people within six months. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 The likelihood that such a disease will appear continues to rise, whether it appears naturally or it is created as a weaponized disease. Addressing a TED talk, uh, Bill Gates warned the next global catastrophe would not be caused by war. Mm hmm but by a virus. He said, um, if anything kills over 10 million people in the next few decades, it's most likely to be a highly infectious virus, rather than a war. Not missiles, but microbes. Part of the fuel for these theories may come from the fact that Bill Gates has been an outspoken critic of President Trump and the way he's handled the crisis in the US. Now, baseless claim that Bill Gates and the Democrats are pushing for an implanted microchip in humans and everyone to be mandatorily vaccinated had been circulating because that's what people do. So suddenly is the creator of the pandemic for alerting us that pandemics happen. That's genius, man. That takes us to the next one that I would rate to 10 out of 10 in the stupid scale, which are the Colleen virus deniers who claim, allegedly, that this pandemic is an elaborate hoax. The premise for this conspiracy theory rests on the baseless assumption that if hospital parking lots and waiting rooms are empty, then the pandemic must not be real, or at least is not as severe as reported by health authorities and the media. Well, usually this 
this, these same people are the ones pushing their preventive miracle cures and anti-vaccine campaigns so that's just a 10 out of 10 in the no 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 scale well up next sputnik is a news agency a website platform and a radio broadcast service established by the russian government and is owned by news agency rosia segodnia and they posted an article uh, promoting an entire catalog of unfounded theories about the origin of the virus. And it ranged from the idea that the choline virus was originated in Latvia to the suggestion that it could have been created as a means to reduce the number of elderly people in Italy. That's right. And according to the publication, Colleen could serve the interests of the Communist Party of China to stop protests in Hong Kong and governments challenged by the Yellow Vest movement and in Italy to limit the economic burden of retired citizens and last but not least in Europe as a wall to not let the refugees in. They even go further to declare that there's a green agenda behind all this, so yeah, well, uh, now it makes a lot more sense that uh, Sputnik is controlled directly by the Kremlin, so I would rate this a I'm out of here out of 10. Um, and last but not least, we have the most juicy that everyone is talking about, that is 5G. So 5G is the newest uh, generation of mobile telecommunications infrastructure and the idea that it is, is the true cause of the choline virus uh, seems to be everywhere. And there have been arson attacks on mobile phone masts because what a better way to deal with something you fear than to set it on fire, am I right? Over the last year, posts claiming 5G is harmful tended to be based on a belief that the signals are more powerful than those that preceded it, like 4G and 3G, and that therefore the 5G posters must be dangerous to life. A common theme was 5G towers causing the deaths of large groups of birds, but in reality mass deaths of birds aren't uncommon. And and predate 5G technology. And it wasn't just birds, the claims that the 5G was dangerous to human health was also backed up by supposed examples of harm to trees. This led to a new theory that authorities were therefore cutting down trees to hide the fact that 5G would kill them. Anti-vaccination communities were often open to the idea of 5G being harmful. Hmm, you don't say. These groups often uh, operate through a series of connected accounts on Instagrams and themselves overlap with alternative health and nutrition accounts that advocate for things like alkaline diet. Mm, you may have heard of that before, don't you? And they tend to be satirical of much modern medicine and some of their output overlaps with mainstream wellness content. Allegedly, there have been claims that say that the waves in 5G alter and boil water, cause cancer and mental health problems, ultimately fueled by a belief that there's no safe limit of any radiation, and this is a belief that stretches back a long way to, to a time when 5G wasn't even a thing. So all these claims may sound familiar to any, anyone who watched protests against the, the uh, 3G technology back when it was um, installed. Well, while the conspiracy theories about 5G and the pandemic burst into public awareness at the start of April, they have been building online for months. The link between the pandemic and the 5G this isn't a single 5G conspiracy theory, instead there are multiple theories which sometimes overlap, but can also contradict each other. If we look at some of the larger anti-5G groups on, the, on so social media, and you can find these claims sitting alongside each other that the virus is the real cause of the disease, but 5G is making it worse. Uh, that the virus is not the cause of the disease and all the symptoms are actually caused by 5G and that there is 
no disease at all and the outbreak is a gigantic hoax to enable the government to install 5G under the cover of lockdown. So claiming that 5G compromises human health and weakens uh, immune systems. When lockdown measures were introduced, telecom engineers kept working. Some were filmed doing this work uh, was used as evidence that the government was hiding something. So for this faction, 5G wasn't causing, causing the colin symptoms. Uh, it was now being used by the government as a distraction, so 5G could be installed across the country without delay. One of the first 5G in colin virus claims um, is that the disease had broken out of Wuhan because of the 5G there, and it re-emerged with claims that the colin virus um, hotspots were also covered by 5G and that the cases on cruise ships, for example, could be explained by the radiation emitting technology uh, used on them. So, for example, we can see a flaw here because in Iran, uh, which experienced one of the earliest severe uh, choline virus outbreaks, uh, does not have 5G technology yet. The theories linking the 5G to the pandemic have been lately described as the worst kind of fake news and I'm getting a borderline um, Chernobyl feeling from all of these so I'd rate this one a 3.6 um, not great, not terrible um, yeah <laughs> so people's instincts around what is real and what is fake may become kind of confused, you know, and what do you think of this? Is it stupid? Is it scary? Is it e? Let me know what you think. Anyway, this is all I got for now and I hope you stay safe, wash your hands and stay away from fake news and I will talk to you soon. Bye!